What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. Got my girl Luna chilling. You're sleepy, baby. One Piece, 1102. One Piece, baby. Oh, man. It's always a good week when One Piece is here. And I think there should be a new chapter. There should be a new chapter that I have not read yet. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to check real quick because I am curious because that shit is popping the fuck off. Damn. Not out yet. Unfortunate. But we had a fire two chapters of Black Clover uh, a couple days ago. That shit was crazy. Wish. It's unfortunate that's quarterly now and I was hoping it would be a little bit more longer with like i hope i was hoping those two chapters were going to be more fat than they were but it was still gas nonetheless amazing stuff can't wait until that comes back but hey we're getting to one piece one piece 1102 last episode what we end off with oh yeah luffy jimbei rest of them uh chopper bonnie you know those four they have made it up to punk records you know where it's nice and safe where big punk's brain is you know what i'm saying like CP0 is not making their way up there. Uh, but they are still on the ground floor or regular island of Egghead, along with Sentumaru, who's still down there and, you know, pretty much fucking on his last legs. I don't know if he's going to be able to do much. Hopefully, he can at least stay conscious so the Seraphim stay listening to him, because obviously he is higher in uh, the hierarchy compared to CP0. So hopefully, he's able to stay conscious. We'll, I, we'll, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, it seems like we're safe. We're all up at Punk Records. We're all up in the same place. So Luffy has met, you know, I'm assuming we're going to see the reuniting moment between Luffy, Jinbei, Chopper, with the addition of Bonnie back to the rest of Luffy's crew and talk some more about his transformation, obviously, since it's the first time for his crew actually seeing what it is and what it actually is and being told what it is. And their reactions, I guess, to that, or, or even Luffy too, because I don't think Luffy knows a whole lot about the background to his own power so that's gonna be interesting in itself for him seeing his own reaction to like the knowledge or history behind his power uh if vegapunk tells him of course which i'm assuming he will can't remember if he does i'm pretty sure he does i'm just kind of guessing what we're getting into or what we're gonna see and then maybe just see like some more of the seraphim and whatnot fucking fuck up you know cp0 or them keep on going at it but i we do know that us uh, fucking kizaru is on the way as well fucking we might catch back up with him or maybe we jump somewhere else, bro. We haven't jumped back over to Blackbeard and Law in a fucking minute. Nor have we done the same with the Revolutionaries and Sabo. It's been a minute from that as well. So, let's see what the fuck we'll get into. Let's hop right into it. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. One Piece 1102. Sinister schemes. Okay, looks like we're gonna look at like what the plan is. Oh, yeah, fucking Kuma. All right, bet. Yeah, that's what I said. It's been a minute since we've seen the revolutionaries and whatnot. Like, we're dragging them. We're at uh, Yvonne's kingdom. Yeah, Kuma is fucking out, bro. He's out. He's on the fucking move, bro. He got somewhere to be. He got somewhere to be. Back to Egghead. That was quick. Why are you standing on top of him like that? Like you did something, Kaku. You didn't do shit, as you usually don't. Good luck with that, Rob Lucci. They're feeling the urgency. They're like, oh yeah, like, he gonna try and use Luffy and the crew to fucking escape, bruh. When you're a genius, people hate you. That's true. You good at something, people gonna be jealous and just fucking hate for no reason. Bro, he's way bigger than you think. He towers over all of them, and that's without his actual head. Oh, 
<laughs> Fucking Nami. We're rationally thinking right now. This is what anybody would do. Or any organization, I guess. <laughs> Super. Yeah, he wants to see, he wants Fake Punk to see all of his creations. <laughs> Why don't you free our feet then? Yeah, they've been locked on the floor for so long. At least it feels like it's been long, just because of the amount of episodes. It's been a couple weeks. Yo, Bonnie, chill, bro. You just woke up, bro. Like, damn. <laughs> Luffy back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looked up. <laughs> Fucking Luffy is so dumb, bro. Whoa. She determined to fucking do something about him, bruh. Yeah, they got the Seraphim back in their control. Lucky them. Hey, bro, Luchi determined to get his get back, bro. He's going to be a thorn in our side just like back in the day. Oh, my God. We're already, he we're already here. Okay. All right, buckle up. Oh, fuck. Bro, this soundtrack is so fucking epic, so no so nostalgic, so iconic. Jesus, the strings are crazy. Yo, Kuma, Kuma, we fallin', bro. We fallin', bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh, he's <laughs> on oh, timing. Come on, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing, man? Why are we here? Y'all scared, huh? Ah, oh, fuck, bro. I'm loving this shit, man. I'm loving it. Yes. <laughs> Bro, how do you not after the fucking ass whooping you just took? I mean, sure, you're still good. Like, it wasn't an ass ass whooping. But, like, come on, bro. You, 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 you realized you're like, you were about to pass out, remember? You were about to pass out. And he wasn't even trying all the way, bro. You can fuck your shit up. Yeah, Rob Lucci, he determined to fuck your fucking plans up, bruh. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking York. 
目的は帰り討ちではないステラを逃がすことだやつらをやらんとどうにもならんじゃろまあまあそれくらいにしておかんか我々はサテライト我が身を挺してでもステラの安全を確保する I mean, as good. I mean, you you should be listening to him because look at what happened to Atlas. Like her trying to act on her own, bro. She got fucked up, bro. Man's ripping that shit, bro. Damn, I missed a cigarette, bro. Fuck. Three months clean. Three months clean. I miss it every day, though. Damn, y'all sitting there on the couch, nice and fine, and shit, bro. Damn. Nami's wine, roving twine. Mm-hmm. Frankie's standing cool as shit, bro. For real, it is a fucking huge burden. Suman, <laughs> he's already talking to whoever it is. Who is it? I can't remember who it is. <laughs> okay. Really? Okay, so who the fuck did they just call? I can't remember who it is, bruh. Fuck, man. That's gonna bug me, bro. That's gonna fucking bug me, man. Bro, this, that sounds insane, dude. If they can actually accomplish that feat, bro. Like I said, this is going to... Bro, this shit is so stupid. They want to kill this man's, bro, the world government. Oh, shit, here we go. Bro, that was your fault. <laughs> Yo, Bonnie's stupid, bro. Who the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit, man. They're like, what the fuck's going on? Like, all right, bet. Just we can go on up there now, man. Fire. Those powers are so fire, bro. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful going to that ship, bro. There's there's two people on that ship you don't want to fuck with. One especially. Good luck with that, bud. Good fucking luck with that. Oh, back to this trip? Back to Kizaru? Oh! Yeah. Oh, fuck. There we go, bro. <laughs> Nah. Oh shit. The hype is real. 
Man, fuck your big nose ass, Kisaru. God damn it. Oh my god. What another amazing episode of One Piece. Jesus. That was good stuff, bro. That's fucking alluding to a lot right there. A lot of good stuff in that. Alrighty, Familia. What another amazing episode of One Piece. That was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, what did we get? We got them talking about their escape plan. Uh, Vegapunk kind of explaining why the government wants to take him out and why they just won't let him fucking go. You know, they're not just going to let him run free, bro. Like, no. And so he tries to make the, you know, Straw Hat crew, like Nami and them, like, understand, like, or kind of like make it easy to comprehend like why they would want to take him out and she was like yep yeah, i'll take you out <laughs> like yeah it's pretty understandable like the amount of technology that he's made for them the amount of technology that he has available to him still and he wouldn't be under the government anymore like that's a threat you know what i'm saying so it's not as simple as just like oh yeah you know he's do he doesn't work for the government anymore like he can go get a new job elsewhere like no bro like you once you work for the government and you've done as much as you have and you're trying to leave you don't just get to leave bro they want him dead, motherfucker. They want him dead. In the ground. Gone. Dead. Goodbye. That's what they want. So, we got the explanation from him. We saw uh, Luffy and them, obviously, uh, get up to Pug Records. And Bonnie, wait, obviously, is awake now. So, she's like, as soon as she gets up there, she's like, where the fuck is Wagon Pug? I won't. Give me, let me get a crack at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's done. Like, she wants all the fucking smoke. She, she thinks the fucking bugs were attacking her on uh, Vegapunk's order or some shit, bro. Like, no, bitch. That was the fucking saber in your hand. And that's why it was defective, as he was trying to tell you that. Jesus. But, of course, obviously, she's running off of emotions. And there's a lot of history behind that that we're going to get into uh, at some point, And I am not ready for that at all. <laughs> I mean, we had one hint of her, like, fucking breaking down and, you know, kind of struggling to go against her father but it was really just like the, one of the pacifista on the island which is like one of the police force and she was already like going through it as soon as she's all like in that form you know what i'm saying and that's not even actually him but that triggers her and already putting like the sad soundtrack behind that one time like bro i was about to lose it <laughs> so i am not ready for the history and the backstory at all but it's gonna be so good trust me it's gonna be so good so that's what we got for uh luffy and his crew bonnie them heading to where vegapunk is vegapunk explaining to nami and them you know the situation why he wants to escape you know hoping that they accept his you know request to take him aboard their ship which you know nami and the rest of them you know well, nami's the main one that's like paying attention like okay this is like a huge burden like, this is gonna be crazy you know what i'm saying because they're gonna have the gov i mean they already have the government on their you know eyes you know they already have the government's eyes on them for being an emperor's crew but this is like okay bet you just became an emperor and now you have the fucking world's greatest scientist that worked for the world government that we want dead and you are trying to take them and protect them oh fuck no so you can imagine like this this is the weight of the things like this is some crazy shit so it is a very very heavy strong fucking fat ass burden bro so they're kind of like debating it and then eventually they realize like okay well we have really no other choice at this point you know what i'm saying because like they want to take out our ship. We got to keep our ship just for us, too. You know what I'm saying? And CP0 is already here. Kizaru is on the way, which I don't think they're aware of yet. But CP0 is here. They have the Seraphim under their control because then tomorrow's out of action. You know, they got some fucking shit to take care of. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, they're already with Vegapunk. And, you know, that's probably their best bet, you know, to, to align with him and try and help him. Uh, while fighting CP0 and trying to get the fuck out of here. So that's what they went over, went over their plans. And then we also saw the other part of the episode was seeing Bar you know, Kuma, actual Kuma, Bonnie's dad, fucking flying to somewhere. Like, he was out, bro, out. He was gone. He, like, he fucking used his own power on himself, the pawpaw fruit, at Yvonne's kingdom and just fucking left. Like, was fucking zooming, bro. He was gone. And then he, all of a sudden, he shows up at the red line. It's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing here? Crash lands. Everybody's freaking out. Fucking fucking some dude from the government or somebody you know gets on the fucking megaphone like yo be careful watch the fuck out we don't we're not aware of his programming right now he's dangerous don't fucking trust him da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying like nobody knows what's going on with kuma or at least they're just scared like they're like okay why is he acting like this like bro watch the fuck out 
they're obviously trying to minimize, minimize casualties because they just don't want people to die, obviously. But also, they're just like wary because they're like, hold on, bro. You're, su you're supposed to be like loyal to the government. You know what I'm saying? From the fucking shit that Vegapunk did to you. So what the fuck is going on? So yeah, we saw that and you know, he's a man on the mission. Like, bro, he, he is like sacrificing his like body for this. I mean, obviously like his body's already been through so much through the experimentations and whatnot from Vegapunk, but like he's like injured, you know what I'm saying? Like he was injured from before and that's what they were trying to help him at the uh, Yvonne's kingdom. You know, they were trying to fucking, uh, you know, recuperate him and, and, and repair him. But he didn't even want to do that for the full time. Like he didn't wait. Like he was like, yo, this is enough. Like, nah, I gotta go now, bro. I gotta go now. Like he's, he's gotta go somewhere and he's not saying shit. And he's at the red line and uh, you know, everybody's careful. Everybody's being wary. So that's pretty much, I think all that happened this episode. That's crazy shit, bro. We, we got some good stuff. And, uh, and then we see Kizaru coming in uh, at the very end, right before the episode ends. And just like, you know, telling the world government or like, you know, getting the news that Luffy's helping Vegapunk or they're, you know, they're aligning. And he's like, okay. It's gonna be interesting, but you know, I'm pretty sure they're not. This is not gonna go the way that they expect it, and of course, it's not because you're on the fucking way. And Admiral, we already got CP0 and the Seraphim that are already there, and we'll see. We'll see what the fuck else too. So <laughs> we we're getting some good shit, bro. That was a good episode. Very good episode. That's gonna do it for me. Amazing reaction as usual. Amazing fucking One Piece episode. I love this shit. If you guys enjoyed it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.